Just got so much of this. Good morning everyone. So here we are at this property where behind me we're gonna be doing a large scale fine job. So just wanna show what I'm gonna be using is the wee bang uh, again with obviously the blades at the back. Main difference be between having the blades and the spring tines, like you see, is the spring tines are just a, a lighter weight of scarify. The blades are slightly more, well, a lot more aggressive, and they'll pull a lot more out. For it, I've got the blower, um, just to kind of blow everything into the pile. I've got the handy spreader, and I've also got the mower with me, so we can collect debris in between passes, and also a couple of rakes just to rake up. I've then got a pre-seed fertiliser, that is by Total Lawns. And I've also got Baron Brug E2, tough turf, that's perfect for these sort of areas. And um, it's got a really nice dark green colour to it. So like all perennial ryegrass grows really well and really nice and hardy. Right, taking a walk up here. As you can see as we're walking along, it's just that yellowy browny colour that you often see with moss. More or less anywhere you stop, you know, if you do like a little depth check, you're looking at sort of the good part of an inch or more of just moss and thatch just sitting on the layer there. So we're going to end up pulling quite a lot off and this lawn's going to be more or less completely brown by the end of it but we're dealing with about 260 meters squared so we've got a good day ahead of us i've got someone coming in to help me as well and yeah we're just going to get to it through half there and this is where we're at with it as you can see towards the edges i mean it is up there down here it's not nearly as thick as soon as you get towards the center you just got so much of this dead organic matter basically mostly just moss to be fair i'm not even down to the thatch just yet uh, but it is just absolutely loads of this stuff and if you look clear away a patch still loads there so we're definitely going to need quite a few patches done today but it's all coming out well, machines powering through like mad and yeah, try and get some good footage of this one. Right, so what we're trying to do here then is I've scarified this whole thing, we've blew it with the blower into the water centre, like so. Gav's just currently cleaning up and blowing this in now. And as he's cleaning, I'm gonna start going in with ways, so up and down this opposite direction, so that we're working at the same time, being more efficient, and hopefully getting the job done slightly quicker, but just as clean as Right, so this part here has proper key when you're working with someone as you notice like i caught up with the scarifying but because gav still hadn't moved all the debris over for me to continue i jumped off the scarifier blew up some parts while he was just still cleaning up what then allowed me to still crack on all this sort of stuff is just efficiency and it just saves you so much time in the long run on jobs of this size right so we went through the second pass there and what we have we still got quite a lot coming up as you can see the difference, this hasn't been done yet, obviously this side has been. Even when you remove what's there, you can still see remnants of like thatch basically. There's all this dead sort of brown stuff and then we're into the soil. So hopefully another two more passes after this and then we should be getting there. Remember, you're not looking to take away any grass that's there, but that will happen. So if you go down to the mud when it's something as severe as this, it's totally normal. So we'll crack on with this one, try a third and then we'll see how we're looking.
Right then, so that is two passes of this lawn done. We've got nearly a skip full, and that's with that compacted down as well. Um, what we're looking for here is basically just signs of earth. We're getting it in some places, and then in others, we're still a little bit off it. We still need to give it another one or two passes, um, like I thought, and really get that sort of moss and thatch out, otherwise it'll be pointless. So this has been on the same setting both times, on these rebounds, it's not like um, on somewhere you've got like a dial or anything like that. On the professional grade ones, you normally have to take it out, you loosen it off, and it's literally you just go uh, left to actually t uh, go deeper and right to uh, to raise the height. So I'm just going to raise that by probably two and a half turns, somewhere around about that. And when you engage it, the deck goes back down. So now that that's down a bit further, I'm now going to go diagonals and we're going to really try and pull out any of the stubborn stuff that's a little bit lower down. So we'll see how much we get out on this third pass. So then just nice and quickly just to go over, this is the third pass here and as you can see we're still getting absolutely loads out. It's slightly darker in colour and what that is is to begin with, you're just getting the moss out. As soon as you then get past that and the deeper scarifies, on deeper passes, you're then starting to take all the sort of thatch and obviously it comes with a bit of dirt. You can see where it's just kind of turned up there. That's absolutely required in cases like this because what happens is if you don't go down too far enough, then you're removing the moss layer on top and then the thatch you're kind of leaving in there. So you're kind of getting rid of one problem but leaving another. So you need to be making sure that, yeah, you don't go too crazy, but that you're still taking enough out where the recovery process is going to work, the seed's going to take, and it can actually up start absor uh, absorbing water again and actually recovering. So that's where we are. I'm going to finish this third pass, then probably going to give it a cut, um, see how much we pick up, see what the current state's left, and we'll either then seed and fertilise after that third pass, or maybe do one more. This is where we are now and so this is with three passes of scarifier two passes of the mower and then we put the pre-seed fertilizer down and we've also put the a2 baron brug seeds down as well so that's now getting watered in under the specifications of being watered four times a day at least basically keeping it wet so the seed can germinate and then we'll see how that comes up then i'll be back here every two weeks anyway to sort of have a look check in make sure it's going as it should be so thank you very much for watching please subscribe like comment and thank you very much